Hey y'all. Hey, hey, hey. I'm giving a story time today. A story time about how my gym stalker called me a ghetto crackhead. <laughs> The high story time insert at the beginning my sim my gym stalker got the nervous on me a ghetto crackhead like first of all crackhead is crazy i don't smoke crack and second of all ghetto i mean it's giving more bougie than ghetto but whatever go off he really meant to say he need a tampon he can he have a tampon he's gay or something i don't know these men are weird the apartments I'm living in got a gym in it. The apartments I stay at got a gym in it. So I'm working out in the morning. This is like 9.45-ish. It's early in the morning. Um, I'm working out. I am getting, you know, trying. I already hit the treadmill. I already did my, um, like my upper arm reps. And then I was working on the bottom half, the bottom half. I was working on the bottom half. So in between there, like people come in and out the gym. Somebody came in and filled up their water bottle and didn't even work out. Like, what was y'all doing up there really? And then somebody like kept walking past. Like I'm seeing in the corner of my eye, but you know, I'm going hard in that gym. I had my my music in, got the AirPods on, you know, texting, laughing from Instagram on the Apple Watch. So I'm like in the zone. I'm not really checking who's in my periphery. My AirPods on. I'm working out. Like I'm in the middle of hitting like laying down pulling up doing like these things laying down doing these doing something like that i'm working out and this man i walk up on me and it's like this man gonna walk up and say hey you got a man and i'm like no what and then he's like what's your name and i'm like nia nicole and mind you i'm trying to tell him my name he's talking over me I didn't realize like he's talking over me. What are we gonna call this man? <clears throat> he was like, he's like, what's your name? I'm like Nia Nico. And his name is we gonna call him um Charlie. So Charlie, um, he was I was like, he was like, What's your name? I was like Nia Nico. He was fucking up my name, talking over me, messing up my name. And I'm like, you can just call me Nikki or whatever, make it sweet, make it short, make it simple. I'm like, you can just call me Nikki. And he was like, Okay, and I'm like, What's your name? He said, um, I'm Charlie, but you can call me Chuck. And I'm like, okay, what's up, Chuck? Or whatever. And he was like, can I have your information? So mind you, I'm saying, what's up, Chuck? And he's like, can I have your information? So he's like talking over me, like not taking in what's going on. Like I'm clearly in the gym. You, He's dressed in dress pants, button down, dress shoes, got these dreads in with a little something going on with his head, had glasses on. Like, I'm thinking he's just coming home from from work or if gonna go out to work. It's early in the morning. It's like 945. So I'm like, like, what the hell? And then I'm, I'm gonna end up talking to my bestie on the phone. Bestie, if you watch this before we made our birthday plans, you're fired. And not fired out of my heart, but fired on that mission. Cause we got birthday plans to talk about. So my bestie how like, yeah, woo, woo niggas is crazy. I beg a nigga in the bummy fit. Like I look crazy. I'm at the gym, I'm, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. And he walks up on me talking about, let me get your information. I was not flattered at all. I was not feeling cute. I was like, oh, like the way you see me dressed, like this is nothing. So I'm coming back home, you know me, I'm feeling good. And now it's like 11, I make it back home from the gym and I'm cleaning up, doing laundry, dancing around the crib, having a good time, enjoying my little self. And um, <clears throat> I get a message like, what are you doing? No, what did I say? It was like, hey you or something. I need to pull up the messages cause y'all. So it's like, hey you or something. And I'm like, hey you or whatever. And he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just doing laundry, cleaning up. He's like, oh, I'm about to smoke. And I was like, ooh, mood. I was like, hmm, it's always good to like connect on the flower level, on the flower level. So I'm like, mood, I don't have any, I wish I did. He was like, oh yeah, I would offer, but I only have enough for a roach. And I'm like, oh, okay. He said, yeah, I'm gonna put this in the bong. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I got that about the same amount. So it's whatever. I was like, so do you work out often? Cause I'm thinking he's, he lives here or whatever. He's like, no, um, no, he's like, yeah, I do. You want to see? And I was like, yeah, let's see. So he sent me his workout pictures. So Charlie sent me his workout pictures. I'm like, okay, Charlie got a little body. 
And then I said, he was like, let me see you. So I said, my workout pictures. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just trying to lose like 10 pounds and tone up some areas, you know, same old, same old. He was like, oh, okay. He was talking about how he's trying to put on weight. Well, I didn't really ask too much of like reason why. Cause I didn't really care. Like I just, I just met this guy. So I'm like, okay, cool. So mind you, mine is out a little small conversation. We talking back and forth. Then it gets explicit. You know, I hate when guys get so explicit like that. Like I did not say take your pants off. Seriously, I did not say that. So I don't know why that'd be like the first thing that comes to their head. I don't know. So he's sending me explicit things and I'm not texting back. So mind you, it was like explicit image and I didn't text back. And I'm like cleaning up, just got up from the gym. I haven't even took a shower yet. I'm just like dancing around, feeling myself. He FaceTimes actually. No, he calls. He calls and he was like, um, Charlie was like, Oh, I see you didn't text me back. I gave you 20 minutes, but it's been like 40 minutes. And I'm like, what? And he's like, oh yeah, woo, woo, woo. Um, I was just seeing like, it, red flag number two. Like, he's like, oh yeah, I was just seeing what you was doing cause you didn't text me back. I was like, oh dang, she ghosted me already. And I'm like, oh no, like it's none of that. Charlie was like, well, what are you doing? I was trying to come up there and see you. And I'm like, what? Come up where? Where you at? He's like, oh, I'm on break. I said, on break? I'm like, what you work from home? He's like, no, nah, I work at the front desk. So I'm like, you work at the leasing office? And he's like, oh, yeah, well, today's my first day, kind of, yeah. Oh, uh, and then I'm like, mm, okay. Red flag number two. Because how you work at the front desk and walk up on me while I'm in the gym? Like, what, ain't you supposed to be working? This is harassment. Red flag number three. Mind you, <clears throat> this guy walked up to me. He works at the leasing office. And he's talking over me and he's kind of miniature. So, he has a complex. Like, he has a complex. Like, that explicit picture. Like, first of all, it was like... I'm not gonna lie, it was like this. And then I'm like, wow. So you just sitting that out and you just doing too much. Like, and you posted, he was talking to me like I'm just supposed to be jumping on that. And I'm like, hold on, like, you need to chill out. First of all, I'm not jumping on that. And second of all, you're doing too much. Like, you doing way too much. And don't flatter yourself. Like, I'm not flattered. Why are you so flattered? I don't like that. So I didn't, I was like irritated with Charlie. Charlie was pissing me off already then i'm like well how old are you first of all you come to me talking to me crazy and he's like 32 i'm like oh okay and then i'm like where are you from like where do you stay at and since you delete the work at the lease and i was where you stay at he said he's staying in houston how you stay in houston but you working in dallas and he that's why i'm asking straight up like that and he's like um he's like oh no i work at um i've been working here for a week or whatever but i'm but I live in Houston and I'm like, well, where do you stay at in Dallas? And he's like, well, I have no, I got a lot of friends here. And I'm like, oh, okay. So you're couch surfing. Okay. That's like none of my business. You sending me explicit pictures, pictures in somebody else's house from somebody else's place or old ones or whatever the f like, come on now. Like that's out of pocket. You're not even homebound. You're doing too much. Like, what are you doing? So it's just Charlie is giving me off bad vibes, and mind you, Charlie walked up to me. The only reason why I'm prolonging it is because I asked him where can I get the flower from. Like I'm like, you know, cut the chase. When you want me buy more flower, I want to purchase. Woo woo. He said he gotta wait until payday, which is Friday, and I'm like. Who, like, first of all, you living check to check and you not even home? Like, where are you? You in Dallas and you waiting on the next check to do anything? Or are you just, like, where's, like, number four? I'm just confused. Like, why are you waiting on payday? And I just said, I wanted to purchase. I didn't say you get some. And then you could have gave me their num their contact number. I didn't even have to go through you. So, it was just giving him, Charlie was just making me mad. Like, he wasn't getting the picture. I don't know if he wanted me to, like, be interested in him. But I, re I really was interested in the flower. And I'm that's probably why I was giving him crackhead vibes. I don't know. So, mind you. Mind you. Charlie was like, um, he's like, FaceTime me. Or whatever. Because we were on the regular phone. And he's like, FaceTime me. And I'm like, oh no. Like, I'm just moving around in my undergarments because I just came from the gym so I you know stripped down 
And he's like, so what? FaceTime me, FaceTime me. And I FaceTime him, but I let him see the ceiling. So Charlie is all complaining about how he's a real man and he's not messy like that. And like, mind you, this is coming out the blue. I just met this man. I just met this man. This is coming out of the blue. Mind you, I'm hot right now. This is a hot story time. I meant to say that at the beginning. But I was like, boy, you doing entirely too much. Like, I kept telling him he's doing too much. I'm like, I don't move this fast. Like, I don't even... I don't have sex with people like that because they be crazy and people are already crazy without having sex so i'm just like nah i don't even move like that and he's like me neither me neither contradicting himself mind you he already sent me his nudes and now he's telling me you don't move like this red flag number five like this man was not like i wasn't feeling this man at all but okay so i had to see it through because i'm trying to purchase some weed like the crackhead i am so, um, some flower. I'm trying to purchase some flower like the crackhead I am. So, um, I never do. I would never do this again, though. Like, it's not that serious. I never, like, if I, if the dude's just corny, I'm just going to chalk it up. He's corny. I'll run into somebody else. Like, this was the corniest stuff I've ever dealt with so far being in Dallas. This was the corniest. Like, he really killed expectations for the men out here. I think I'm looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> but no, I'm not looking for anything. I'm single, working on me. But I was looking for flower, like the crackhead I am. So this is what happens when you go looking for weed from people you don't know. Oh, can I purchase from you? And he was like, uh, I guess I can get like a gram until um, I get paid. And I was like, okay, well whatever like so i'm like okay well i'm gonna get two grams because i don't know mind you i don't know where this weed is like where this weed's coming from none of that and he was like okay that's cute he started sending me pictures of different weeds as if um that was coming from dispensary so i'm like charlie like where are you getting this be from he's like oh i'm getting it from my homeboy i was like oh man i've been looking for weed man can i have the contact he's like oh that's my homeboy Mind you, he's calling me baby, doing all this. We just met, like, four hours ago. So, Charlie was just doing too much. And he was like, well, when can I come over? And I'm like, what? Like, Charlie, like, you can't come over. You, like, I don't know you. He was like, well, that's how you get to know somebody. You have to come over. Like, be, me coming over is, like, getting to know you. It's not, like, I'm trying. I'm not trying to be with, sleep with you. It's not that serious to me if we sleep with each other or not. I'm just saying. I'm like, mm. it's giving very much press. So he was very much pressed and he doesn't even know me. Mind you, I'm being like comfortable enough to check him about his stuff because he's being comfortable enough to dress me like we're, we're romantic together. So I'm just like, boy, you're crazy. He finally shows up with the wheat, with the flower. He finally show, show up with the flower. We meet on the rooftop or whatever. I get to the car and I'm like, yeah. And he, I, he gives me mine or whatever. And then he's like, yeah, I've been pinching off mine, so he put it all in one bag, so this is the little, but this is the little, but it's mine. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It's like, he wanted to smoke. And I'm like, okay, did you bring something to roll it? Oh, no, I don't roll. Um, I smoke out the bong. Reaches in the back seat, pulls out this broken ass bong, broken top, broken ass. <gasps> Reaches in the back seat, pulls out this broken ass bong. Big, it's big water bong and it's broken. So I know it's probably like this big and it's broken. So it's this big now. And then it has all the pieces in the front. So first of all, if anybody's ghetto is you for riding around with a broken ass bong coming from Houston to work up here for one week in Dallas with a broken ass bong. And then he said, oh, well, it's going to be hot in here. Let me turn, um, let me roll the windows down. And then the, I'm rolling the windows down and the tent's falling off. Charlie, get it together. And then I'm in the car, and the car is dirty. It got condom boxes, bags. I'm like, okay, I'm not judging. Like, I'm take, I'm just keep, because as a nice person, you, I don't like having to be like, dang, your car is dirty. Like, I, you know, your car is dirty. I shouldn't have to say that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just getting. I'm like, okay, well, you, I'm just getting the, the flower. I'm not thinking it was gonna be a smoking a bong in your trailer of a car, like. Be real. If anything's ghetto, it's what you're riding in, Charlie. But anyways, it's I'm not it's not a diss, it's a story time. But I'm just saying, like, be if be for real. If anybody is a crackhead, a, if anybody's a ghetto crackhead, it is Charlie. And because he was trying to like 
sway me in like make me think like he's this man he's like he's a boxer training with um earl spence the one that this guy's ass whooped she, he was like he be training with him he know him woo, woo, woo. i'm like but he didn't want to tell me where he worked he i asked him when his birthday was february i'm like february what he didn't want to tell me like he's like what are you in the zodiac i don't do all that i'm like i'm i was just asking like you know just questions to get to know somebody and then i was like three words to describe this stuff he said big like come on be real i'm like three words to describe yourself you could have said big energy but you said so like and i'm like okay it's giving it's giving asshole and he didn't like that he didn't like the fact that i call him an asshole he was really offended his penis was in a bunch his penis was in a bunch he was really mad and i'm like oh don't be mad i was just kidding like well no well i don't think it's um i don't think it's funny i'm not an asshole i'm stern i am stern and another word for asshole is arrogant but i'm more of confident and i was like no arrogant that's exactly what it is you're an asshole because you're arrogant and he's like i've never heard that so if you feel like i'm arrogant you got a problem within you and i'm like i don't like i'm just i asked you like a few questions trying to get to know somebody we sit here sharing this broken ass bone together i'm like i'm trying to see where your headspace is at <laughs> He's stern, but you driving around in this dirty ass car. You got these dreads with a ball spot in the middle of your head. And you working, you working in Dallas, but living in Houston. Like, come on, be real. Be on. He's like, hitting them on, covering it up. Hitting them on, covering it up. Hitting them on, covering it up. Instead of like ripping the bong, he's hitting the bong, covering it up. Hitting the bong, covering it up. Like, or even rip it and then hit it, cover, hit it, cover. Like, who, like, come on. Like, we're in a car, first of all. And there's only one hit in there, first of all. Only smokes out of bong, so that might be just his thing or whatever. I'm not judging, I'm not saying anything about it. I'm just looking at like, okay, can I hit the bong too? So he finally passed the bong and then I put a one hit in there and I put, lights it up, rips it. Like you hit, like who hits a bong not to rip it? I roll a blunt, roll a joint, roll a paper, stuff a cone, do something. But if I'm gonna hit a bong, like I'm gonna rip the bong. I'm not gonna sit here, it's not a pipe. It's not a one hit. It's not a one hitter. It's just a big ass water bong. Why would I not rip it? It's like, so a water bong. This is a and it's hit Charlie's like, damn Whitney, Whitney, and I'm like, dang, who's Whitney? He's like, yeah, we got Whitney in here. I didn't know you was a smoker for real. Let me find out. And I'm like, I'm just ripping the bong. Like, I don't know if you trying to embarrass me, but I'm not. I'm a goofy person, so I'm cracking the cock cock cock. Who kiki ki, you funny why you cracking me up like nah like because i did hit it hard and i was coughing and everything but that's how i like to hit the bong like i don't know i'm a stoner he said he's not a stoner he don't like to get stoned which i was like okay that's fine that's why you hit the bong you hit, you hit the bong and i hit the bong the way i hit the bong like we don't have to smoke together no more you should have said you want to you wasn't a stoner before you like if you're and that's why i'm like if you're not a stoner you need to be smoking by your motherfucking self how can you why do you want to smoke with somebody like that's why i'm like why did you want to smoke with me in the first place what did you thought this was i came to smoke if, if i came it was so hot in his car because he didn't have no ac and we're it's 106 degrees outside so i'm like okay well i guess we can go down to um the clubhouse and like ch chill and enjoy a high and stuff all he can do is talk about himself like charlie was just talking about himself charlie um got in the clubhouse and he was like i remember when i first lived here man i first lived in these apartments he's like gonna flick the lights on and off and like the lights ain't coming on why the lights ain't coming on? i'm like i don't know Ch try all the light switches i don't know like i just live here i don't know more than half of the room like more than half of the lights in the room are out he's like all the lights is out like he's talking to me like i work here he works there i don't oh, when i live when i lived here it would never be like that the owner like this being negative nancy and i'm like okay good for you like let's change the convo let's talk about something else we just wanted to talk about himself and wanted to complain and wanted to nag and wanted to act like a little baby and wanted to borrow a tampon he could just ask for a tampon you know i'm talking to him like are you okay like you tripping over everything the heck is going on, Charlie? Are you okay? And we walk, we walking back on the elevator, and then everything's loud. Mind you, we're high. The weed, the flower was really strong, and I'm mad. I'm mad because I didn't get the contact. I don't get the. And now, Charlie blocked me. I 
So now I don't have a contact to the plug because that's his homeboy. And of course, he don't want to give me his homeboy's number because he's a girl. So a 32 year old girl with a bald spot said, well, we get on the elevator and he's complaining about how he can hear everything. And I'm like, well, you're high. He's like, no, nah, it's usually not that loud. Ooh, ooh. I'm like, well, you keep, and I just, this, like, because I'm high, he's killing my high. Like, I'm like, you keep complaining. Like, you negative Nancy. Like, you really being negative. And ain't this the people that cut your check? we get off the elevator and he's like who you who you talking to and i'm like i'm just saying you complaining and these are the people that you work for like i don't understand what the big deal is and he's like hold on it don't matter he's like it don't matter who's cutting my check i'm just i can say what i want to say or whatever and i'm like okay you can but i'm just saying like you can't talk about nothing else like and he's like you know what what was i gonna do you have a good night pass me in the back you have a good night I'm like, okay, it was weird. It just ended just like that. So less than 12 hours, I met this man and he's already bleeding. And I'm like, bro. So I'm like, hey, you. Now you know your mouth too disrespectful, man. Oh, I'm sorry, wasn't my intention. Yeah, you a little too easily offended for me. And then to try and talk about me like you just so much for comment and know me is real ghetto. To get offended of me talking about what I see in some apartments where your name probably ain't even on the lease is crazy. Had I been talking about you, okay, but nah, yeah, I don't let folks play with me, lol. That shit get real ugly. Y'all, is this a threat? Like, I don't even, I don't even play like that. Like, you threatening me over me telling you you negative and you an asshole? Like, sorry, I'm a woman, first of all. And you, if you never heard that before, then I'm surprised. Maybe it is me, but no. Like, boy, don't do that. Don't do that. <clears throat> so I said, oh, I don't recall disrespecting you. I was going off the vibes you let off. I apologize if my words were taken out of context, but ghetto, that's insulting. You clearly aren't in the right headspace if you thought I would conduct myself anything less. You were being negative and prude as if you had anything to gloat about. Be real, your ego is too much for me and everything I know about you is ugly and contradicting. Seems like your feelings are hurt, but go off. And then I said, I was only hitting you up for the contact of the flower man. You you approached me, so don't flatter yourself. Sorry I didn't fit into the persona you were aiming for. And he blocked me because the last message didn't go through. Which is fine. He can block me, Charlie, with your broken bong and your no AC and you live in Houston but work in Dallas. Boy, you a clown. I don't block me. You need a tampon. It all happened within a span of 12 hours. So I don't know if he's just at a rocky point in his life. I don't really know. But pray for that man. But don't play with that man because shit will get ugly. That nigga is ugly. He need to cut them dreads off. The car not having AC living in Dallas is crazy. First of all, that's ghetto. That's that's beyond ghetto. Like, your priorities is fucked. You hollering at a girl and your car don't have AC in it is crazy. Where What do you think you finna do? Did you see me living in an apartment? Hobosexual bums. Hobosexual bums is what they call them. Freaky bums. Wait. Hobosexual. Hobosexuals. Freaky bums is what I call them. Hobosexuals. Like, they hobo and want to be sexual with you. They bums. Are they freaky bums? That's basically what I'm saying. I didn't have my own shit because he was trying to come up here on his break. You work at the leasing office. Find you somebody else who live up in here. Boy, wrong one. You crazy. You thirsty. And now I want that big horse meat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't impressed. I got too many hoes. Yeah, you, you like to put that shit in your door